Welcome back to Destiny Nation. My name is Joshua, and this is Quench Your Thursday. But before anything else, let's worship the Lord together. Let us all stand up and let's worship the Lord. Yeah, there is a new day. verse of the week. We will play a game, so remember what I will say. Zephaniah 2 verse 3. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land, who do His just commands. Seek righteousness. Seek humility. Perhaps you may be hidden on the day of the anger of the Lord. Follow after me. Let's do it again. Zephaniah 2 verse 3. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land, who do His just commands. Seek righteousness. Seek humility. Perhaps you may be hidden on the day of the anger of the Lord. Now, the game starts. I hope you remember the verse because I will remove some words and replace them with emojis or icons. Zephaniah 2 verse. The Lord, all you humble of the. Who do his just commands. Seek righteousness. Seek humility. Perhaps you may on the of the of the Yes! Good job! Remember our fun game. This is the verse of the week. Remember that you are destined for Christ. Hello, welcome to Sing His Praise. Today, we'll be encouraging you from the Word of God to worship God even in hard times. To continually worship Him even in hard times. So let's read His Word. It says in Psalm 3, 3 to 6, it says here, A Psalm of David when he fled from his son Absalom. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and He answers me from His holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. 
I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side. David's worship did not change when he was facing difficult times or having challenges in his life. He was confident in the Lord. What he did was he just cried out to him. He called out to the God of mercy who hears him from his holy mountain. So today, be encouraged, teens. God is able to help you. Though you have this tens of thousands going on in your life, you're seeing so many requirements popping out from your online classes, so many things going on in your family, in your uh, life. You see, all you need to do is just call out to Him. Worship Him because He is the God who, hear, who hears us. Remember, our God is our shield. He is our glory and He is the lifter of our head. Rather being depressed, rather be or just owning everything, keeping it in yourself, come to God. Cry out to Him. Open wide your heart and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords because He is able. Amen. Amen. So today, teens, just cry aloud to our wonderful God because you are destined for Christ. Hello, Destination! This is Pastor Ayam, and welcome back to Teens on Fire segment with my co-host, Rans. It says in Ephesians 6 verse 19, And also for me, that words may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel. Today, we ask some teens about boldly sharing the gospel. Oh yes, Rance, let's hear their answer. So what's the first question? Question number one. What motivates you to share the gospel? The goodness and faithfulness of God. What really motivates me in sharing the gospel is God's grace. God sacrifices one and only Son, Jesus, to save you and for me. Question number two. Have you experienced being shy when sharing the gospel? How did you overcome it? Yes, I've experienced it, lalo na nung first time ko talaga and talagang sa public place siya. Nag-join ako ng YT and... How I overcome shyness is by serving in the ministry, having faith in God that He is with me, and practice. And na-overcome ko yun, habang tumatagal and nag-pray ako every time na may opportunity mag-evangelize sa ibang pa. Question number three. What advice can you give other teens so that they will be bold in proclaiming the gospel? First of all, we must make sure that we will pray before sharing or evangelizing to other people. Pa, we are reading the Bible para talagang may intindihan natin yung sinasabi natin sa mga sinishara natin ng gospel. My advice to all the teens is to start off in a small group. It can be your family members, your friends, the more you share the gospel, the more your confidence will grow. Thank you so much, teens, for bravely answering those questions. Remember this, read your Bible, pray every day, and surely you will grow, 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 and mature in your relationship with God. You will be bold in sharing the gospel. The Holy Spirit will teach you and will guide you the way you should go. Amen to that, Pastorium. Teens, we are not alone. Be unashamed to proclaim the gospel. The Holy Spirit will teach you what to say as we are willing to do it. Yes, Jesus is with you as you proclaim Him. The power is in the message. So preach it in Jesus' name. That's it for Teens on Fire segment. You are destined for Christ. Hello, teens. My name is Pastor Tessa. Are you a doer of the word? If yes, are you a seeker of the one who gave those instructions? The Bible instructed us, we are to seek the Lord. In Zephaniah 2 verse 3, this is our key verse. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land, who do His just commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility. Perhaps you may be hidden on the day of the anger of the Lord. And we have been learning this. We are to seek the Lord with all of our hearts. We look to God. We search Him. And now, in our key verse, as we seek the Lord, there are other two things that we are also to seek as one that is a seeker of God. And that is to seek righteousness. And number two, 
to seek humility. So number one, what is to seek righteousness? This is seeking to do what is right. In NLT, in that key verse, it says there, seek to do what is right and to live humbly. Another thing, this is seeking the righteousness of God, Matthew 6.33. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. This is anything that is what is right in the eyes of God, what is pleasing in the eyes of God, serving God, doing what is rightful with other people, respecting your parents, seeking to do to love one another and not to hate each other. But this is what God has commanded us. Another thing, the Bible says we sow righteousness and reap God's righteousness. Hosea 10 verse 12. Sow for yourselves righteousness, reap steadfast love. Break up your fallow ground, for it is the time to seek the Lord, that He may come and rain righteousness upon you. Who wants this? Amen. We all want that. Teens, this is your heart following God's desire. This is your heart willingly want to do what is right in the eyes of God. You are making your relationship with God. You want your relationship with God to be right with Him all the time. You want to finish well. And if you have in your heart that hardens you because of sin, sow yourselves righteousness. Let God, let the rain of the Holy Spirit soften those hardness of your heart and do what is right. Seek to do what is right. Amen. This is a heart that you are wanting to stop those bad habits. Repent from it and now willingly do what God wants you to do. Now, secondly, is we are to seek humility. Zephaniah 2 verse 3, seek righteousness, seek humility. The same usage of humility here, anawa, is also giving us a meaning to seek to be humble just like God. Second Samuel 22 verse 36, you have given me the shield of your salvation and your gentleness made me great. This is also a heart that doesn't exalt himself. In Proverbs 18 verse 12, Before distraction, a man's heart is healthy, but humility comes before honor. You are a seeker of God, and at the same time, your praises goes upward to God and not to yourself. Amen. When you seek humility, you will be honored. This is the result. Proverbs 15, 33, The fear of the Lord is instruction and wisdom, and humility comes before honor. Proverbs 18, verse 12, Before destruction, a man's heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. And you know what? It's not just honor. It's also riches, honor, and life. It says in Proverbs 22, verse 4, The reward for humility and the fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. So as one that seeks God, you also seek humility and not pride. There are times when we seek God, there are teachings that God will deal in your heart, that will point in your heart. And you need to humble yourself before God and let God take it away from you. Let's recognize the importance of a changed life that God expects from us when He points it to you. Amen? A seeker of God doesn't refuse to repent when needed, when God told you, and when you are confronted with the Word of God. This is a lifestyle as well that lives, that lives in humility among the people he lives with. So, a seeker of God, you're not also, you're not just a seeker of God in the house of God, but even in your houses right now. How do you communicate this relationship you have? with God to other people? Are you also sowing goodness in the lives of people? Are you honoring your parents? Are you doing good to your siblings? Are you teaching your knowledge to them if you're good in that subject? Amen. So right now, teens, let us live seeking God at the same time, seeking His righteousness and to live in humility. Amen. So let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for teaching us a life that would be blessed, honored, having long life, this riches and honor of God will be upon us as we seek you and seek 
righteousness, to seek humility, and keep as a hard heart, Lord God, a heart that will always seek after the things of the heavenly things. Lord, let our hearts always be humbly, humble before you. God, give us a heart that will always seek after you all the days of our lives. We love you, God. We give you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So, teens, thank you once again for joining us today. See you again tomorrow. God bless you.